Alright, what's up everybody? It is Monday morning. We got us a little patio action going today. So uh, me and JT are just kind of scoping out the site here and it looks like we're going to be removing this patio right here. Taking these columns out. We are going to be putting in two new columns on the end here with lights on them. That one's not going back in so this thing is in pretty rough shape. Um, new step here. Well, their grades are kind of jacked here. Yeah, and we're kind of dealing with some obstacles. Yeah. Oh, adjust. they got a gas line coming out there, too. Yeah. So these steps are going to come out down to this little screen porch, and then we're going to do them a nice new pad right here. So we're going to set up our ground protection mats as far as we can. We've got a little cable line or something coming in here. Morning. Morning. So we're going to drive right up through here with the bobcat. And then, of course, old David hurt his finger yesterday. So um, our dump truck is sitting at the shop today because none of us have our CDLs yet. And uh, luckily, his owner was able to get us a truck today. So they're going to be here around 10 o'clock with the haul truck with some rock. And then they'll haul this stuff out of here. So uh, we're going to get to work. We're going to have to kind of swale that down around that step right there and go over this way. But we're going to just have to drip all this out and set our set our panels up there and do a false wall on the inside you know dig us a little footing in there man i wonder if we got our little checker thing to see if those are hot it wasn't the top of the toolbox i got that little thing that you just stick by it yeah <laughs> i'll let you do that guess we'll get that machine back there and start ripping it out is the gas Real oh, off. so I just went down there and tried to turn it off, but I turned off a gas, the only gas line I seen coming off of it, but it went to, uh, I think it goes to her fireplace, unless there's a T on it somewhere that comes over to this, but you got a lighter on you? Yes. We'll see if this thing is off. Yeah. There you go. Here, you can set it back on here if you want. All right, me and JT are gonna go grab this excavator. We're not far from the shop, so. Dave, your little finger uh, being sore sure is messing up my day. All right, we're just gonna turn this road here and I didn't wanna destroy this whole entire yard. You know, this is a, nice little old lady here and I don't want to damage all this grass and she's got all this nice landscaping so we went and got the excavator and we're going to uh, put things into the buggy and the bobcat and uh, try to do as little damage as possible here to get all this out so Ricky and Jason busted the columns off and got the electrical stuff exposed I don't know if they found out if that was hot or not. We can load these up by hand. Grab this, grab this end piece here, Jason. Yeah, I mean like that piece right there is gonna have to go on the Bobcat. We almost need to get a piece of plastic and hang across those windows. I haven't heard from Dave today. Again, he called me at five o'clock this morning and told me about his finger. He was weed eating and he jabbed his hand into one of those, I don't remember what kind of tree he said it was, but it's one of those trees that's got the freaking thorns like that long on it, they're huge. And he said that thing went all the way into his finger and there was blood coming out of his glove. And I know I've been jabbed with those and they make you feel kind of funny, I don't know if there's something on him or what but he's got a piece of it in his finger apparently hopefully he gets it figured out i can't believe how thick this thing is that's what she said that's silly here let's open this door now whack it a couple times it's loose that's what she said just warning you it's a little loose down there 
That's pretty blown out. <laughs> yeah. What up? Good. I'll just nose you up to that dump trailer and I'll start loading you right there. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. So Dave just called me and his whole finger smashing ordeal is resulting in an emergency surgery situation, they say. He's got a infection setting in his tendons, they said. He told me when he woke up this morning, his finger was swelled up the size of a freaking bratwurst. And he said it was going down his arm and he wasn't feeling right. So those trees aren't no joke. It's got our David all messed up. He's at the emergency room right now and he said they're talking about doing surgery like right now. So I don't know what he's got going on, but it must be kind of serious. So now today, the rest of the day, we're gonna go over to Uncle Gary's house. We'll get this uh, border all stained and get everything looking good. It's probably just gonna be me and one guy. I'm not gonna take everybody over there to do that. But although, I don't know, I might. I'm thinking about it. Jason, there's a hat right here. Is that yours? Yeah. I mean, if it was a touch fresher. There's flies on it, but. I mean, they're gonna eat away most of the bad stuff. We'll give it a couple days and it'll be ready. By the time we're done with this job, that'll be ready that'll to wear. That'll be ready for a hat. Fuck yeah, dude. Jason dropped his hat right there. Uh, yeah, I get this hat. I'm selling fur hats and fur hat accessories. Yeah, and corn cob pipes. <laughs> get your corn cob pipes here. Yeah? Here's a perfect example of why I always try to sell people downspouts. They think I'm just trying to sell them something, but that's what it does to your new concrete if you don't. Uh, all right, so we're gonna, me and JT are gonna, well, we're all gonna get out of here. We're gonna go back to the shop, drop this, and I gotta come back here, get the dump trailer, all because of Dave's sore little finger. Hopefully he doesn't get his whole arm cut off because of this ordeal. Yeah. Good thing we got an automatic. Right. Ooh. That was Jason's mustache. That is definitely not. <laughs> All right. I guess uh, we'll see you later. All right, cool. See you, buddy. You riding right there? Yep. All the time. Good morning, everybody. We are back here at this uh, little patio job. Dave's not with us again today. He ended up having surgery on his hand, so his uh, thorn situation must be pretty serious. Um, apparently, that big old thorn went into his knuckle on his pinky, and they had to do surgery, cut it out, and it's all infected and stuff. So I don't know what the dude's got going on, but hopefully he's all right. I talked to him at five o'clock this morning, and he sounded good. But we'll see when he gets back what's going on. So. Um, we got all of our form material with us today. We're going to get back here and get this uh, patio set, get the steps set. We got to run some electric for some lights for the columns. So um, we're going to get everything situated, get all these tools out and get going. So Maya's been telling her teacher at school about our YouTube channel. Yeah. And so he starts to play one and in the school not not where anybody can hear anything yeah and so he you know he wanted to see what it was about first and so oh uh, yeah he was like uh i'd love to it'd be really good but uh you know i can't <laughs> so uh she was like i i was like yeah just just let him know we're working on that you know so that's I, funny. That funny yeah well he what's up gonna, buddy yeah he was gonna show one of our videos you know 
what's up oh shit yeah we were just looking all those things up and they're saying that those trees aren't poisonous but it, it just must have you know got you with some kind of like you said some bacteria or something when are they gonna let you out of there holy crap dave well jt drove your truck today yeah yeah hey jt whenever uh you leave here just swing by st anthony's and grab dave's cdl all right cool <laughs> we look this, we look like twins yeah you guys are twins um well david hopefully you start getting better and uh you i guess i guess from now on outside of work you're not allowed to do anything <laughs> <laughs> Second that <laughs> All right. Well, um, if hand. you need anything, David, just give me a call. Uh, all right, you too. See it. So he had a piece of thorn in his knuckle. The doctor just left. He said that there was a piece of thorn inside of his knuckle. Dave said it wasn't like a, you know, he poked his hand with this thing. He said he had the weed eater in his hand. And he was he was weed eating down like three foot tall weeds and he was cutting them down down you know and he said his brother come up on the right side of him you know and he didn't see him there so he said he was whipping that thing and when he seen him he turned it to the side and he said he was right next to that tree and he said that thing hit his pinky and he said it when it went in you know it was like the weight of the weed eater in his hand and everything and he said it went through his leather glove and all the way in his finger and he's because he said it went over the top yeah you know so and he's like you know we just kept working and he's like i had been working for about four hours when that happened so right now the doctor did some cultures on it and they're waiting for those and then he has to go back in tomorrow morning and they're trying to figure out what kind of bacterial infection he's got so they can give him the right antibiotic to fight it and i'm like dude <laughs> no more outside of work activities for David. Yeah, Dave, when you get off work, go home and sit on your hands. Yeah, uh, buddy, let's take your tape and go to that brick. Uh, Twenty-three-seven. Let's go back over here. Twenty-three-seven is right here where my thumb is. All right, we lucked out here and we got us a beautiful footing underneath here from their old retaining wall. So we're gonna go ahead and utilize that bad boy for our pour. We're gonna tie some rebar into that uh, little stem wall that's coming off the house. And we added a foot to this thing. We were gonna go to 16, but so I can use this footing, we're gonna add a foot. What's up, boss? so I got those. Oh, cool. And they had less nails hanging out. What do you got going? So this is our grade here. Ooh, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, well, you know, this good. is not, you know, this is just our parallel, straight, yeah. but it is parallel with this pad. Nice. We're gonna do, there'll be 54 landings, uh -huh. three of them. You know, here with our five inch treads. It's end right here? Yes. So it'll be one, two, three, you know, and then that one will catch the bottom of that step down right there where that pad is. You know what I mean? So that's four going on to that pad? Four and then five, five up there, yes. Okay. Tell you what buddy if you want you can just screw one into there and then we'll toenail one through the top into this just to get it sitting there yep that'll work got a little fall on it beautiful no 
that's that's the wrong line. You got to go on the f concrete. Come on, meow. Old Jason setting his forms to the outside of the form. Yes, I was, buddy. Yep. Oh, thank God he caught me. Yep. I was just checking to make sure he was paying attention to me. Good thing seems, I was. Seems like he's not giving me no attention lately. Yeah. Oh. Oh, here we go. Yep. Yeah. Ricky, go grab the grab the Kleenexes out of my truck. Nope. I guess uh, me and Jason are gonna have a just a me and you day. Just a me and you day. Yeah, we need a me and you day. Let's We're go grab them mini bikes and get the hell out of here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they ride two people. We only need one. No. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm so tired of digging, Jason. Me too, man. I wish we owned an excavator. <clears throat> Not a good operator. And a couple, maybe, uh, you know, young laborers that are like, oh, I love digging. Let me dig that. That would be cool. All right, it's about 11.45ish, I think. What time is it there, JT? It is 12 o'clock on the dot. 12 o'clock on the dot. So we're gonna go ahead and take us a little lunch break. Got me some barbecue. And uh, We'll be back after lunch, get this thing set up the rest of the way and get some uh, rock in there, get it compacted, get some steel in, all that fun stuff. And then uh, we got to get some blocks for our columns, which we're going to do the columns after the concrete's poured. So I'm hoping to pour concrete tomorrow, but we don't have Dave here and it makes a difference not having old Dave driving the dump truck for us. So. Had to do a little extra driving. But anyway, see you guys after lunch. Oh man, I'm so out of shape. Me too. I mean, I mean I'm built for mini bike rides and YouTube videos. Listen, now that it's cooling down, I'm gonna get back on I'm the built hiking. for feed, not speed. <laughs> right. Alright, we are leaving this job. Uh, we gotta go back to Uncle Gary's house for the third day to seal it we went there on sunday i already told you it rained went back yesterday it took us like three hours to stay in the borders and the stuff in the shade wasn't drying fast enough so now we're yeah two coats now we're going back today we're gonna finally put us a coat of sealer on that bad boy so we'll be back here tomorrow to finish setting this thing up and uh so we'll see you guys in the morning all right good morning everybody day number three on this little patio job here We've had a lot of other stuff going on. We've been cutting out early and whatnot. Dave is still in the hospital, so he's all right. But man, that thorn was nasty. He ended up having two surgeries on his hand yesterday. And uh, but yesterday we made pretty good progress on this. We got everything set up. We got the steps going. These guys are hand digging down here. Sounds like they're having fun. Morning. 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 Get my junk off here, yeah, here you can just take that, oh, that's the best and thing. then I'll just throw these away no, because no, nobody needs right those. First time, that junk. junk. <laughs> that sock water. And then my <laughs> so yeah, I sent Dave some pictures of everything we've had going on. He said the pictures all look good. Oh, he approves? Yeah, he approved. Oh, oh thank oh, God. Nice. Yeah. So that's good. Whoa. That's exactly why I moved my coffee. Oh, that would have just given it a little bit of flavor. Would have tasted like his coffee. Kidding me? What the? Oh. Fucking stupid motherfucker. Are you fucking kidding me? 
this was on the very bottom I, I knew that and there was like bent up rebar and then all the other stuff crisscrossed on top of it and then the fucking retaining wall cap on top of that and the conduit and all the other shit and so I, just need to get in there. I just spent 45 minutes to get this out I'll get, I'll get in there <laughs> What's up? Whoa. Oh, is that low speed? That was one. Oh, whoa, that doesn't do it. Three barely does it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in case anybody's wondering, this is how we do a lot of these, uh, what we call false wall, 100% legit. A lot of people say, oh, well that wood's gonna rot away and it's gonna sink, but this really is, this whole setup right here isn't really any different than kind of uh, a suspended slab in a way. Exactly. You know, because this, this has got a footing underneath this here, so this wall is just gonna be supporting this. It just this, allows us to bring our rock all the way to this so we're not filling yeah, so much concrete in there. If we this, then we'd have such a heavy corner right here. It'd want it to crack because yeah, it'd have definitely. so much weight. So, but we still like to hold it down. We pour a four inch slab, so we like to hold this down about six inches from the top of our grade. Whoa, that way uh, we don't have a hard edge in there. Yes. It rounds out. Yes. So it's gonna force a crack there. And now we're going to load this bad boy up with uh, rebar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could just room up with Dave. I just back this up. I don't know what we got going on here. I just went to start it and it. I thought I heard it go to fire and then it not fire. Yeah, it just cranked over like two times and then. It had absolutely no issues this morning. Now old blue's not starting. Uh -huh. I just went to start the blue truck and it it was like and then it just completely shut off like it lost power or something. I have so no it's idea. It's not starting. No, it won't do nothing. You turn the ignition on and stuff clicks, but whenever you turn the key, nothing happens. So I don't know if it's like a fuse relay, something of that nature, but we might have to start fucking with it for a minute and see if we can't figure something out. Alrighty. So we ended up finding out what it was. It had a little wire break off the starter. So JT crawled underneath there and found that bad boy. And one of the starter bolts is not even in it. And the starter is kind of wobbling around. So we're going to have to get that fixed up, but we can get her started get her back to the shop and get it repaired so uh we're getting everything picked up now let's see what time it is it's 12 o'clock and that's gonna be it for today this is our third day and they've all been short days but man they got this thing tied in looking beautiful lots of steel we got steel running underneath these throats i got a ton of people that make comments about putting chairs down in four inch concrete four inch slabs you just can't put chairs in it you know and we're bugging over it you probably put a little chair in there you know as you're going but anybody that's been doing this long enough they're, they're perfectly capable of lifting that steel up into the slab and it's perfectly fine um, so we got a little bit of steel going underneath these throats which I don't really 
like to do that too often because sometimes if you lift that up it'll hit that throat and cause a crack or rust through but in this case we got about five and a half six inches underneath those throats so i think we'll be pretty good uh, we went ahead and got us a pier and each one of these steps just to kind of help support it a little bit and prevent that crack at the throat um, we got this little false wall set up nice we got a nice little steel cage built around this bad boy everything looks really good tied into that existing wall um, so I'm gonna measure this up and there's no telling when we're gonna pour this we got rain in the forecast for a few days so we're probably gonna cover this with plastic and just let it sit here until we have nice weather tomorrow we're just gonna start another job all right so that's it for today on this job uh, now we're gonna go back to the shop I'm gonna run by the parts store grab a starter for this truck because the on the starter solenoid the the little tab that hangs off with the power wire coming off of it broke off so we're gonna go swap that out put a new starter on the truck and then uh, we're gonna probably start a new job tomorrow so um, I'll probably see you guys uh, back at the shop if not then uh, that's it for today thanks for watching everybody morning everybody it is Saturday morning and it's like what time is it 650 650 <laughs> we're uh, gonna pour this patio out here we gotta set up this little step in the front real quick we just left it so she could keep using this but she didn't want to replace the sidewalk and they've already had this here working so we're just gonna go ahead and pull those two blocks out and stick a new step in there we're gonna go ahead and try to lay out a few grooves real quick so JT let's see what we got from the the uh, house out to the end of this step 43 so I'm gonna get us 43 over here and we're gonna go ahead and cut a groove off the end of that step need to throw a little extra corner steel yeah yeah I see that that looks good all right Cabs here. Dang, that's an old dog. It's Aaron. Yeah. Well, that just made all of our days better. How's it going? But I got my ticket. Good to see you. How are you? Your water tank's dripping a little bit. Yeah, that happened when you get my age. Yeah. <laughs> You like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's the only one that's lasted, Aaron. You know what? You're real close to that swamp one. Cool. That thing rolled out. Let's give you all the hose in the world, brother. Yeah, that helps too. It does. Let's put that in. I got a bunch of steps, so let me go ahead and put some of that in these steps. Right in the pocket if you need. Pulling up on that wire. Oh. Whoa, baby. Layla comes up to you last night. She goes, You like your boss? <laughs> I didn't hear her at first, and I was like, I'm sorry, what? She goes, do you like your boss? I'm just like, yeah, I like my boss. I could, I had to hold back and be like, I love that dude. I want to kiss him right on his mouth. We're back with a fresh battery. All right. Sorry, babe, trying to keep up. Good, good job, buddy. One man down, you're doing a great job. Everybody is. Everybody is.
we just about got this bad boy poured out still got to do the little step up front so i got this thing all looking good both loaded we got the steps in they're working on this last little pad down here by the screen in porch Those two blocks are the old step. Yeah, oh good lord. It just sank and I guess there's really no sense in replacing everything because wow. this little step works out perfect. Yeah. Some other two steps down there sank too. Yeah, I know. Oh man, that What do you want? What stopped. do you want? I got a Sprite, I got a unsweet tea, we got Gatorades, we I'll got a the root beer. Root beer. All right, I can say I had a beer with the fella. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Well, it's pretty sunny out. You can't crawl it though, Jason? To what? I cannot see this mark at all. How's that stuff, JT? Yeah, it's a little wet up in where that shade was at still, but these first three slabs here, we may be able to crawl, JT. If you can, let's try to start moving quick because we're these steps are going to start going, and we're going to need to have... Oh. All right, go ahead, buddy. You could probably do that one. Try to hurry up on it. Do you have your own broom for up there? Just broom it straight, buddy. Try to hurry. <laughs> Is it that much better here, JT? I mean, I just like the the atmosphere all together. You know, it's. I don't know. I'm not a dickhead all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only when needed. Only, to be. yeah. It's not like just all day long. It's just screaming, hurry up. Yeah. You know, it's like, I mean, I get, you know, needing to work and everything, but it's like, dude, dudes just don't like to be hollered at all. Fucking yeah, I'm just going to do this. You can still do that whole pad. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing with me is respect. I've always, I've always liked to get respect. Right. So the best way to get it is usually to give it. Yeah. And, you know, you all just need to be. <laughs> good, man. man, I hope Ricky hurries up. Oh, good. Buddy, I need you to get on those steps real quick. JT, you need to hurry the fuck up too. Jason, same for you. And then whenever you think you're going fast enough, dig deeper and go a little bit faster. It's getting there though. Okay, go ahead and start stripping this next one. That was a dumb move. Drop the old broom. right on Jason's masterpiece. Wow. Why would you do that? <laughs> that was on purpose. That was on purpose. That was the first broom that I, or the first pad that I broomed.
so what I'm doing here is that little seam is uh let the rocks settle in it so if you tap them back with this hammer it makes it a little bit easier to finish it this stuff up here is a little creamier isn't it buddy you need to tap it did it help jason yeah oh yeah it did hey jason let's pull this board out of here yeah, hold on we're following you oh am i <laughs> you got it yes. i don't know how i'm calling you that's funny all right everybody that's it for saturday we're out of here so uh we'll see you guys on the next one ricky jt see you guys later Bye. all right jason that's it till next week all right buddy cool yep so uh oh i didn't sorry he was oh. <laughs> all right see you guys right. see you guys yep. see you guys on the next one